everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will do a tutorial on how to install Comfy UI on Macbook. It will work on Macbook with AMD GPU or Macbook with Apple Silicon. So let's get started. So you can go to the Comfy UI GitHub homepage and uh, you can scroll down to Mac OS session. It will show you how to install it for Apple Mac Silicon. I will provide a step-by-step -step guide so you can follow along. So first, uh, you will need to install Python environment on your MacBook. I also have it uh, the details on my previous video. If you get uh, stuck, you can check uh, some of those. So you will need to go to the, the link from the step of one accelerated uh, PyTorch. It just shows you how to install the Anaconda here. So you will need to use this command and then do this. Mostly you will just need to accept the default setting. Once you have that, you can double check Conda. You can show there are options for Conda. So that's a really good news to show that you have Conda installed correctly. And then you can create a Conda environment. Create dash M is for the name. You can call it uh, Confi UI EMV. And uh, I suggest uh, to use Python 3.10.12 and press enter. Press Y to confirm. It will download a, a bunch of packages and after that it shows you that you can activate it by kind of activate your environment name. So let's double check the Python. Just should show you the Python 3.10.12. Great. So let's uh, move on to the next step. So the next step is a key step to show you you will need to install the PyTorch nightly version. So this one from here. You Copy that, paste to your terminal, and press enter. Also, just uh, an interesting thing is that uh, you can notice that uh, on my top uh, bar, there is uh, some status. So if you click those, they can show you your detailed uh, hardware statistics. I think it's really cool. So if you want to know how, I am showing it on my another video. Make sure that you can watch that. I think it's quite useful. So this is a GPU, this is a CPU. Okay, so, all right. So so we do see that uh, it's installed correctly and, and uh, I think there's another verify step. So you can make sure that uh, you can try it. So how to run it is you type Python, enter, and uh, you paste uh, the, the thing you copied, this, this item here. And press enter. Okay, we do see that uh, it shows us the device is called uh, MPS column zero. Great, I think you have it. All right, so let's let's move on to our next step to install Comfy UI. You will need to copy the Comfy UI repository to your local MacBook. You click the code, 
you click uh, the button to copy the URL and uh, on your terminal you type git clone and uh, paste it press enter so it will copy the repository code to your local okay once it's complete you can open it you can change your directory to it and open it so you see that uh, you have the entire config ui copy or your local so now you see that there's a requirements.txt so next step is you pip install everything in your requirements.txt we can open it also so we do see that it have, has a torch, torch SDE, vision so there are not many items so I think uh, it won't take uh, too long time so make sure that uh, you have it pip install dash r requirements.txt and uh, then press enter So this is a GPU history here. Okay, so in the installation has been completed. Let's uh, check out the next step. So the next step you will need uh, to uh, download uh, some stable diffusion models I think uh, from the home page there are several options you can try it so for example the SDXL so so this is one of the example you search for stability AI the base and uh, you go to the file and uh, download uh, the SDXL base 1.0 safe tensors so this one you can click to download it and allow it once it's downloaded change your directory to your comfy UI and place that in your models directory here models checkpoints so place your downloaded a file here so it will be a very big file about uh, 7 gigabytes to the comfy UI checkpoints directory and also it's uh, very flexible for which uh, checkpoints file is compatible so for the comfy UI there are many many options that you can try it so if you go to hugging face you search for SDXL, you can find that there are many. There are SDXL, SDXL Turbo. There are many other files that you can try it. There's a SDXL Lightning. Once it uh, completes, we can start uh, our Comfy UI application. So let's uh, go to the instruction we see that uh, the command is py python main dot p there is also a flag force fp16 and the press enter to start it we can pay attention to our cpu and the gpu stats here we see that uh, everything went uh, smoothly we do see there is a uh, instruction to ask us to go to this URL let's copy that 
and go back to our web browser, paste that on the address bar, press enter. We see the very classic uh, comfy UI web interface and we, we see that it automatically show us the checkpoint here. And let's uh, do a quick test. One thing we want to mention is that uh, for the SDXL model, the dimension, the ratio can be 1024 by 1024. So that's a bigger resolution. Make sure that you can change that. And for the others, we leave them as default, it's 20 step. And uh, let's uh, click the Q prompt. Okay, let's pay attention to what's happening on the CPU and the GPU side. Yeah, we see the utilization of GPU is at 100%. Uh, For the CPU, is around 20%. Uh, we see there is a progress bar on the K sampler node here. So on the terminal, we also see the progress bar. For 20 steps, it uh, takes about uh, one minute. 42 seconds. And on our stats bar, we, we see that uh, there is the sensor, it measures uh, lots of uh, different information. So I think, uh, think we are measuring the power, the DC in, the battery, the average system total. So the average system total is about 8 watts. So I think that's really, really efficient. You basically don't need a lot of electricity. In comparison, in comparison, if you are using a media GPU, it will use about 200 watts. So we see our GPU utilization, CPU utilization. Okay, we, we see our results. Looks very nice. If you want to look at the generated image, you see that uh, it uh, has been saved. So where it is? So let's go to the comfy UI directory. Let's go to the output here. We see that our image has been generated, very nice. It's uh, quite uh, a stunning representation of what uh, we described. So that's a quick uh, tutorial on how to install it. Please uh, follow my channel, so I will show you more about Comfy UI, how to use it uh, for Macbook. If you are also interested in using some other application, I also had a tutorial on, for example, Focus, another stable diffusion UI, and also stable diffusion diffusers. Make sure that you click the subscribe button. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.